Louise. My name's Emma Louise. Hello, I'm Emma Louise Amancia, a TV and radio presenter from London. And what is it about music that you love so much, Emma Louise? Well, you know what? It's really varied. There's a song for every mood, when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're feeling a bit silly. Yeah. And there is nothing better than hearing a song you haven't heard for ages. It is such a dream to work at Radio 1 because I can play all the music I love, I can talk about music I love, and I can find new artists every single day. In each show, our singers will step up to the mic and all they'll have to sing to is just a piano or a guitar. Before I leave you, here is my tip of the week. Bit of a gruesome one this week. Can you look up the meaning of entomophagy? But while the three major record labels, Warner, Sony and Universal, are reporting record high profits, eight out of ten music creators are set to earn less than £200 a year from streaming. You've probably seen headlines claiming things like Meghan Markle is pretending to be pregnant. Or Barack Obama was born in Kenya. These are examples of fake news. Surfers Against Sewage are a national marine conservation charity that's been fighting hard to protect our oceans, beaches, waves and wildlife. 10 weeks, 10 singer-songwriters, but only one winner. There's a life-changing prize at stake for one of these artists that's gonna change their life forever. If, like me, you spend hours scrolling trying to find new music, well, hunt no more. We've got the best undiscovered acts coming live from the Bedford in South London. We're making this episode on pollution because we wanna find out what we can be doing to protect our planet for us and for future generations. I'm also a proud Ghanaian. My parents are both from there. Um, I love my culture, it's really fun. Pollution levels today are having a devastating impact on society. Ella Kissy Deborah was just 11 years old when she died. And she's the first person in the UK to have air pollution listed as the cause of her death. Now me and Ella, we've got quite a lot in common. We both grew up near the same massively polluting road. One story that burst the bubble on the pop industry was Fiona Bevan, who's written for One Direction and Lewis Capaldi. She shared that she only received £100 of royalties after co-writing a track on Kylie Minogue's number one album, Disco. There's never been more pressure to be happy and mental health is such a big part of all of our lives. But how connected is what goes on up here with the rest of our bodies? And how much good are apps like Calm and Breathe actually doing for us? Fashion, trends, Keeping up with the Kardashians, we're all at it, but at what cost? So I have actually used some of these apps myself. I use Calm, mostly during lockdown, and it was helpful at first, but it does feel like an extra responsibility. Now, if you want to be an active member of the slow fashion movement, you've got to use your voice and talk to fast fashion brands. If brands don't hear from customers, they have no reason to change their supply chains. Time for the playlist, mic drop. <laughs> Kiki, 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 kiki